Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to extract email addresses from folders in Outlook, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's pull that information and let's dive in. So we are here in Outlook and what we're going to do is go over to the left hand side. We're going to tap on file. From here, we're going to look at open and export on the left hand side. And it's the third option from the top. You'll find import and export. Once you go in here, you'll have a few options. What we want to choose is export to a file. We're going to click on next over here and we have two file types to choose from. The one that we're looking for is the comma separated values, which is a CSV file. We're going to click on next. Here you want to export the file of choice. So we're going to select our inbox over here and we're going to click on next. Here you get to choose where you actually save your exported file. I have chosen desktop, so that's fantastic. We're going to click on next and here we get to map what information gets exported. So make sure that this is selected and here you want to make sure that if there are values in here you want to just say clear map and add the value from the left block to the right block simply by clicking down and dragging it over so what we want here is first of all the name as to who it is from we also want the subject we then want the address that it's coming from and if you are using multiple addresses and you want all the information from all of your email addresses, you can actually add whom it is actually going to. So you'll add this to addresses and your email address appropriately will show up. You also want to add in the CC and um, the CC address. So that will be added in there. And if you would like to add the BCC in there, you can do so too. There's a bunch of other stuff that you can add in, but for now, this is fantastic. Let's click on OK and click on Finish. Now, this will take a few minutes, a few seconds, maybe even a few hours. It depends on how much data you are actually exporting. So let's go ahead, jump onto our desktop, and here it is. We're going to double click on that, and here is our CSV file. As you can see here, all of the information is in. And all we need to do is expand each one of these columns so that we can see all of our information accurately. Now, if this was a helpful guide, you can go ahead and drop us a big old thumbs up. We'll see you next time, people. Peace.